What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. They say the early bird catches the worm. It is 6.35 here in the morning on Monday, March 17th, 2025. In the great People's Republic of the State of New York, I am heading to my first service call of the day in Kew Gardens, Queens. It's a little bit of a schlep. Traffic on the Van Wick could take an hour, more or less, to travel about 10 miles. <laughs> Those who know, know. Those who don't, trust me, you don't want to know. So we just left the shop. We're going to install a A.O. Smith ultra-efficient hybrid electric heat pump water heater. Customer's got solar panels on his roof. He's got an older natural gas atmospheric venting, you know, traditional 50 gallon water heater. It's coming on to about, I think 12 or 14 years old and preventatively he's swapping it out for the heat pump. He was thinking about considering gas, but he nets a lot of extra power basically he's collecting more than he spends you know in energy in his home for electric so the heat pump was a no-brainer yes it's more than double the price but you're gonna have every dollar of energy that it uses gives you four dollars of hot water so huge shout out to the folks over at AO Smith for not sponsoring the channel and the video let's go It took an hour to drive 9.3 miles, but we made it, we're here. Peter's not here yet. He went to AF in Maspeth to pick up the heat pump water heater. Um, think I'm gonna reach out and say hi to the homeowner because the front door is not open, but let's see if we can get the show started. All right. Homeowner actually replaced the water heater about four months ago. It rusted out. But nonetheless, we're going to take out this valve. The water shut off to the house. We're going to take off this valve and then uh, drain down with the uh, Liberty transfer pump. Let's see. Mm. You don't want to go, huh? Let's see. These cheap plastic valves. Man. She don't want to go. That sucks. See if it can be a little more persuasive. <clears throat> wow, she don't want to go. Will this away? Cheap plastic valves. How if I plug it in? All right, we'll make sure that the sink drains well before leaving it unattended. All right, while this takes its sweet ass time to drain down, I'm gonna break the unions 
start backing out the piping. I'm gonna take this three quarter inch brass line out to that nipple. We're gonna replace from this key down in copper to our domestic cold water. Our domestic hot, we're gonna take from there down and replace that with copper. Let me break these unions, get to work. pumping down. I disconnected my domestic cold water to there. My domestic hot water, which include the boiler feed to there. The water heater is now significantly lighter. But that valve is really, really having a, a good time with this. You don't want to come out. I wasn't risk breaking it on this 40 gallon. No bueno. No. It is what it is. Slow and steady wins the race, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Peter has arrived. And it fits conveniently in the back of this pickup truck. Sweet. Excellent. Hi, Peter. Hey. All right. Some people think I'm nuts, and I am. I should be on medication. But it is downstairs in the box with no damage to anything. All right, here's the water heater. Domestic hot water outlet, domestic cold water inlet through some Teflon tape and then some uh, mega lock around the threads, put new female adapters on, hot water, gonna go there and it'll be an easy straight shot. Cold water is gonna have to go up, across and into here. And then we also have to tie in hot water for the boiler. Do you think they can guess what's missing? Uh, I think so. Yeah. The uh, the isolation valve to turn off water to the water heater. Yeah, that would be a nice thing to add, right? Forgot that. That completes. 
pressing. 9, 17. Still Monday, the 17th of March. Okay, let's uh, turn the water on. our domestic cold water inlet just making sure everything's pressed before I open up the valve <coughs> excuse me uncensored I mean unedited okay that's pressed 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 Really love A.O. Smith products, by the way. And for every every time we install an A.O. Smith water heater, I buy one share of A.O. Smith stock. It's nice, and it's not that heavy, and it's uh, it's nice, very nice. All right, all I have to do now is let it fill up. Get all the air out and then hook up electric, clean up, put our condensate where it needs to go. Have a nice day. All right. Power on, breaker on. Standby delay. All right, so it's important to note that the startup and operation and prior to beginning operation, that the startup sequence is of roughly eight minutes, goes to a series of self-tests. Default is hybrid. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. The startup sequence, which will happen every time the power is restored, is reading HP 0, 120. So the fan will not turn on if the um, water temperature is less than 59 degrees. And since it's like 55 degrees outside and this is pretty cold, it's gonna be a little while. So right now the electric heating elements are heating up the water and then the heat pump operation will occur. Let's just check our amperage. Let's try on there. 16.4 amps so we're using the electric elements to heat the water above 59 degrees all right let's take a do a quick little overview um domestic hot water leaves in a three quarter by half inch t half inch copper we installed a new half inch press male adapter by Vega into the existing half inch IPS bowl valve for the boiler feed. The domestic hot water piping is new from right there to the heater and to the boiler. Domestic cold water, new from the three quarter inch brass T. Yeah, now you can see better. We added a three quarter inch brass nipple with the female adapter, Street 90 a three quarter piece of pipe, L tubing, press ball valve, some more L tubing, Vega 90s fittings, what have you. There's the brass drain, not too shabby. Uh, the electric, there's our incoming voltage to that disconnect switch, double pole, double pole, double throw, no, single pole, double throw, 240 volt circuit, 30 amps, a nice conduit, by the way. Look at this. And then across, all the way, sorry, all the way to there. And it's being fed by a 30 amp breaker titled water heater. Very appropriate. Not too shabby. All right, so there's his original water heater that he had to replace right around Thanksgiving. And there's the one that he replaced the one with at Thanksgiving. And of course the heat pump is in the truck. Basoda.